What's going on my party people and welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my regular subscribers, thank you for tuning back in. Today, I will be showing you guys how to make my easy is one, two, three mac and cheese recipe. Let's go. Step one, boil you some noodles. Next, you got to pair your macaroni and cheese. This is just a bonus clip because y'all know I wasn't having just macaroni and cheese by itself. Y'all know I had to fry something up with it. So listen, you need some fried chicken. You could fry you some pork chops. You could make you some baked chicken. You can make you some ham. You can make you some spam. You can make you some salami. Whatever you do, pair it with something good. So now if you see my grease is nice and hot. Now I'm just about to add my pork chops in. I already did a video on fried pork chops, so I didn't want to really want to get into detail with the fried pork chops. So now my noodles is looking just about where I need them to be. Okay. Now time to jazz up the noodles. So I am going to add in some butter you want to use real butter don't use margarine for this use real butter so i'm just adding in like three little chunks of butter and i'm just going to stir that in while the noodles is nice and hot so to get that butter all melted up up in there now let's trade bowls because now I'm about to get my little custard, if you will, together to pour over my mac and cheese. So I am going to start with some whole milk. And the measurements just depend on what size pan you want to use. So I'm not doing a really large pan today. So I'm just going with maybe, this is probably like a cup and a half of whole milk. I'm also going in with two eggs. Now after you whip them eggs up nice and right, you just want to add in one can of evaporated milk. Make sure everything is whisked up. Make sure all those, um, make sure your two eggs is nice and broken up and everything is nice and incorporated with your wet batter. Bring back them noodles and that butter. It's time to level up right now. It's time to start adding in your, adding in your little ingredients, adding in your cream and your cheese. So now I'm going in with some whipped cream cheese. You can use the hard block of uh, cream cheese if you want to. I ain't got time. I had some whipped on hand. It's already nice and soft. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. So I'm adding in, I will say two generous dollops of whipped cream cheese, like two heaping tablespoons full. And I'm also gonna do the same with some sour cream.
So now that you got your cream cheese and your sour cream, your noodles and your butter all mixed up and stirred all together and incorporated, now you want to start um, adding in your cheeses. So the first cheese I am going to use is sharp cheddar cheese. And there's so many different ways you can do macaroni and cheese. Tonight, what I'm showing you guys is my easiest version of macaroni and cheese. Um, later on down the line, I will show you guys my six cheese macaroni and cheese, which gets a little bit more into... Um, not into detail what am i trying to say it's, it's just a little bit more to it but this is the easiest version and i'm also going to um pour in some monterey jack and i'm using the whole bag it's macaroni and cheese for pete's sakes you need cheese Now, after you stir in your cheeses, now you want to start seasoning, giving your macaroni some flavor. Now, with macaroni and cheese, I like to keep it real simple. Salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of Cajun to heat things up and spice things up a little bit. I do not like to bite into garlicky macaroni and cheese or oniony macaroni and cheese some people do listen do you if you like to put garlic powder or onion powder or seasoning salt in your macaroni and cheese do you So now I'm just going to give this a nice good stir, of course, and then I'm going to um, taste it to see if that seasoning level is where I like it. And that's all I use is salt, pepper, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. That's all you need. The cheese flavors the macaroni. So after getting it to where I like it, now it's time to layer. So I'm going to start with a layer of the macaroni and cheese. This recipe is so it's this so easy, quick, and simple. It it really is. Now what I'm gonna do is come in with you guessed it, more cheese, and I'm going with the double cheddar cheese for the layering. So let's put down a layer of double cheddar. And then we go go in with our little custard mixture. Now what we just go do is layer and repeat. I mean the macaroni is looking good already. Like you could just dig in right now. This thing ain't even going in the oven yet.
So my oven is heated to 350 and also what I'm going to do before I put it in because this is just like a, tra a tradition with my family. Um, we sprinkle pepper paprika on the top just to add like a little bit of color to it. And now it's ready to go on the oven. And here you have it. The finished baked macaroni and cheese. Easy as one, two, three. So simple. Three different cheeses. Not even really three different cheeses. Like two different cheeses. Look at that. Creamy. Now, do not panic. What you see is not milk. That is cheese sauces. As your macaroni cools down, everything will thicken up. I'm giving you guys a show of this straight out of the oven. So you kind of do want to let your macaroni just rest a bit before digging into it. But for video purposes, I dug into it early. But that's just creamy, cheesy, deliciousness. And here you have it. Nice and plate it up. Grab your pork chop or your chicken. Grab your hot sauce and it is all good. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next recipe. Stay safe. Stay blessed.